What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of Hunter Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how to create the uh, tilt shift look in Darktable. Last week I dropped the Lightroom HSL in Darktable tutorial and one of my subscribers, I am Kian, he left a comment saying recently I've been playing around with tilt shift, maybe this is something you can address in a future tutorial. So Kian, this one's especially for you. I'll put your link in the description down below so everybody else can visit your channel. So let's get started and let's jump straight behind the computer. And this is the image that we will be using for this tutorial. We are going to start by using the soften module. If you don't see the module over here, please go to more modules and then find it down below. Here it is, soften, place it in your favorites and that makes it easier to work with. So we are going to open the soften module and we are going to activate it by clicking this little button right here. And as you can see, the entire image has been softened up. You can increase this by going to 100% or you can decrease this by going to 0%. So let's say I want it to be on 80% or 81%. Let's do 80. There we go. Uh, now you see that the image is very soft, but I don't want the entire image to be soft. I just want parts of the image to be soft. And for that, we need a mask and we are going to use a drawn mask and we are going to use the gradient mask. This is a great tool because you click it once and as you can see I'm going to place it somewhere in the middle and as you can see now the left side has been softened up and the right side is still very sharp. Now I remember that the dark grey button over here is the soft side or the active side and the white button over here is the side that the filter isn't being applied to. Now let's just say I want to be creative and I want to make it like this and I want this to be sharp so I'm going to add another gradient mask I'm going to switch that one up there we go wait the other way around to increase it maybe increase the feathering a little bit by holding the shift mouse button to scroll towards you or to scroll away from you or to scroll away from me I'm going to increase the softening and now as you can see the image is a lot more soft over here and over here and the image over here is very sharp so nothing has happened to that part of the image and obviously you can place this anywhere you like like to the sides for instance if you want the buildings to be soft and same goes for this one there you have it now the sides are being soft and the center is being sharp this is one way of doing it so you're using the softer module now i'm going to show you guys the second module so i'm going to undo this by just going to the exposure press the compress history stack uh, these are the edits that i've done to the picture uh, a minute ago just to make it a little bit brighter so it's easier to see during my tutorial and now i'm going to close the softer module i'm going to open the low pass module and now you can see that soften with gaussian now let's activate it and there you have it now it's very blurry now let's increase the radius now it's even blurrier so let's decrease it let's decrease it a little bit more there you have it but like i said i don't want the entire image to be soft i just want a part so i'm going to go to the drawn mask add the gradient mask click in it and like i said the dark gray button is the active part and the white button or the white side is the part that's not active so let's just make the same one that we did a minute ago but now we're using the low pass module and now i'm going to add another gradient and there you have it now you've got both sides very blurry and the middle is very sharp you can decrease this any way you like if you just want it to be a tad on sharp like you really used a tilt shift lens or maybe increase it a little bit just for creative purposes but these are two ways to create a tilt shift look in Darktable. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. For those of you that wonder what tilt shift really is, it's basically a camera with a lens. And you can tilt that lens upwards, downwards, and from left to right to create a certain creative look. I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can read up on it. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. 
hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!